Hi crafters. So today I'm sharing a swap that I'm sending to Patty, who is Mommy Me Crafts on Instagram and YouTube. She wanted to host a partner swap, and I believe this is her first time hosting a partner swap. Usually she does group swaps, and she wanted to co-host with me. So we bounced some ideas back and forth, and we landed on a loaded mailbox swap in a sweet treat themed. And I believe the items that were required were just a card, an MDC, a shaker, a crafter's choice item, which could be anything that you wanted, a gift about 15 to $20, and, and everything just needed to be packaged cute and sweet. So this is what I have, this is what I'm sending. I'm gonna start with the cards and then work my way up to the mailbox. So this is a card that I'm just gonna send to her and write my note in, so it's the XOXO so that it's in theme. And this is a stamp that I used from Scrap Diva and I just used some embossing powder in neon pink. And then these little folders I made using a die from ZF Party Zen. And it's a zipper die, so this also has that zipper on it, that zipper detail. And this is just loaded with cute treats. So I just thought that was a really fun way to package some goodies. And this is a really cute envelope box die that I got from KS Craft Hannah. And that's what this looks like. And I just love this, it's so versatile. And you can pack your really chunky cards in here. So this is a shaker card that I made and this is another one from ZF Party Zen. It's a mason jar and the B set is also from them. And I just loaded the mason jar with some honey and some cute little bees floating around. And then on the inside it says you're the bee's knees and all of these little dies that I use are from that same bee set. And then on the bottom of the envelope it says oh my heart just as a little surprise treat. So I did forget one thing and that was the die cut. So we were supposed to have five die cuts and um, I forgot to ask Patty if she meant like five die cuts or like five shapes that you die cut a bunch. So I just went with the five shapes that you die cut a bunch. So this is three of the five. And this is a little heart ice cream cone that I believe is a KS Craft Hannah die. And then I got these macaroons as a part of a birthday set, which was, you know, I just thought was really cute. And then this is a shaker die of a uh, cotton candy, which I believe is also KS Craft Hannah. And um, I added enough to make four shakers, including the foam and the acetate, like everything you would need to make a shaker. And this is a shaker that I made as well. And this is a Scrap Diva gumball machine with the Valentine's Day add-on. And it's just so cute. Look at that little Cupid. I did sweet and then heart. And then look at these bag toppers too. This is also from Scrap Diva. I just adore these bag toppers. Everything on these bag toppers are from Scrap Diva. So including the little cute pennant, the flag, this little heart-shaped Valentine's Day arrow, the bee mine, like everything is from Scrap Diva. So super cute. She has so many cute dies that coordinate well together. And then this is an MDC that I sent her. I actually sent her two, so I'll show you the next one in a little bit. This is one that I made last year and it was designed pretty basic. So I wanted to redecorate it and bring it back to life. And it was one of my favorite projects from last year was this little Viewmaster die set from Scrap Diva Designs. So I definitely wanted to incorporate this somehow. It's in the Sweet Treats theme. You have the little conversation hearts. The wheel has the little conversation hearts. I just absolutely adore this. And then I just redecorated it with her new word die set with, with the Be Mine and some of the ephemera from Simple Stories. And I love this little tag that I added with a little conversation heart that says hug me. I did come up with a couple of Crafter's Choice goodies and this is one of them. This was actually my first idea for this swap. So Scrap Diva Designs came out with this really cute berry box. I used embossing and in ink to give it texture. I just really wanted to embellish the front with strawberries and flowers. I used a cute little bow on the top. And then on the inside, 
I made these little heart shaped, they're supposed to be heart shaped pom poms. And so they're really fluffy and just super simple and cute. I use this We Are Memory Keepers pom pom maker that makes little hearts. And I just thought this was a perfect use to make these strawberries. And so I'll just kind of show you a few of those. And this is another package of die cuts. This one is the heart strawberries from Coco Rosa. And I just loaded it up full of strawberries with the leaves. And I used the little 2D berry box die as the backing for the packaging. And I thought that was perfect. And this is a strawberry chocolate box. I got this box from Silhouette Designs. I believe it was Silhouette Designs. So it's an SVG. It has the Scrap Diva XOXO with some charms and the heart strawberry. And then on the inside are a couple more shakers. And this is also a Scrap Diva Designs die. I just added a little drip to make it look like dipped strawberries for Valentine's Day. And I had a lot of fun putting these together and then I added these little strawberries to the ends which I think are just such a cute little detail and this is from a die from Scrap Diva Designs this is not an MDC I just went ahead and added that with an MDC punch um, but it's just a box that you can buy that's really cute and it opens from the bottom and the top and I did a little magnetic closure on the top I added the stamp from Scrap Diva Designs and I just made it stacked so that the envelopes are flying in. I did finish the bag. I've shown this a couple of times um, on Instagram and YouTube and I hadn't finished the back yet so I did manage to do that and I just put this little card in there to remind Patty what swap this was a part of and then I just decorated this little envelope from Scrap Diva Designs. So here's some more die cuts of little envelopes and shaker stamps from Coco Rosa. Here's um, a few more envelope dies from Scrap Diva Designs. I added a little mix of little glittery bits and pieces. And these envelopes also came from Scrap Diva Designs. And then I had this little conversation heart die from Rosie Studios. And I just cut out a whole bunch of them. I wanted to stuff it with all male related die cuts and like just little envelopes just because I thought it was appropriate for the box and the you know the little letters going in is just kind of an indicator of what's inside. And then this was an add-on for her daughter. I asked Patty if it would be okay if I sent her a surprise ball full of goodies. I tried to make it a heart shape as best as I could, but then I added this really fluffy yarn because I wanted to like be able to squeeze and hug it. So it kind of ruined the shape a little bit, but I still think it, you know, looks like a heart. It's quite large, so I'm really hoping I can fit it in the box, and I'm just so excited to send this to her. And I made this love you tag from Scrap Diva Designs last year and I just thought it was the perfect little tag for this goodie. Of course I had to include a Valentine's Day skelly and I know that she likes my skellies and she likes the ones that Amy Franco has done in the past. So she is a fan of this die and this is kind of a clue to the mailbox that I'm sending her. So I'm really excited about how the skelly came together. I made this little apron for her to put over her little tutu and embroidered it with these hearts. And then a little lip from the shaker plates from Scrap Diva Designs, which I think are so cute. I just cut this out with some faux leather, like holographic faux leather, added the little heart on top. These, this little bow that I made forever ago and you know I just keep everything so you never know when something is going to be perfect um, for a project and then I added this wool woving to um, to the skelly to make the hair because I just wanted her to have this little bun on the top and then that's the back and I just think she's so cute I just love her so much so this is the mailbox that I made her. I found this SVG cut file on Dreaming Tree and it is a patisserie 
box and I think you're supposed to put like lights in the on the inside but when I was looking at the shape I thought this is very mailbox like and I could do this whole baking theme like it's it's within the sweet treats theme and I just thought this little scooter was perfect for the front and I got these little cakes from the Maggie Holmes garden party collection of course I had to name the bakery patty cakes and then on the side I have the Scrap Diva Designs flag um, for the mailbox flag and I added this heart so that the flag wouldn't swing all the way and it does go up. That's the top for sliding in the mail which I did add um, with a few dies so this was not a part of the SVG file. And this is from a Coca Rosa die set, this little heart shaped locket. I had this little key charm, which I thought was perfect. And then this is magnetized, but I just wanted to make sure that nothing popped out, so I added the locket anyway. When you open it, you have this little cute detail panel, and I will show you what I'm loading with it. So this mailbox MDC is going to go inside and I'm going to make sure that it's all wrapped and secure. Of course, I'm going to add the little Baker Skelly doll inside and I'm probably going to wrap her up with some tissue paper because she's very delicate. I'm gifting her these um, yarn samples. So this is a King Cole yarn, which is pretty hard to come by in the States and I added these little clothes pins to it and I painted them. I'm gifting her this conversation heart little ribbon set. And the last thing is this loaded honey bear treat bag and it's just full of whatever charms and cabochons that I had that were sweet treat related. There we go. All right, so that is what will be inside of this box. I'm so excited to gift this to her. There's my name on the bottom of it with some little jemmies for the feet. It's very sturdy because I used layers of cardstock and craft board. So the craft board is, is whenever I make something 3D like this, I like to use craft board just to make sure that it doesn't collapse in on itself. And a few more things. So I got this cup for her that I'm really hoping I can fit inside the box. And it's XOXO to fit with our theme. I just thought this was really cute. And I believe I got this from Tuesday morning. I'm going to gift her some of these jelly bellies. And I'm gifting her these scissors and I just added a couple of little charms to them and I just you know I had it when I bought this pair I bought another pair with the intention to give them away so I asked her if she had these and she does not so I'm really excited to gift these to her and so that's pretty much everything there's gonna be a few more goodies inside of her box so go ahead and watch her reveal when she posts it I'm so excited for Patty to get this package I worked so hard on this and I'm kind of nervous because I love Patty's crafts too and um, I can't wait to see what she's been up to and what she's been making me. She said she hasn't posted anything. I wish I could say the same, but I am on very limited crafting time. So I had to post some things as I went along just to fulfill my design obligations. But there's going to be some surprises in this box that she hasn't seen. So I'm super excited about that. I love this XOXO group that... Um, we put together this like everybody in the swap has just been mind-blowingly awesome if you haven't seen the other swaps yet there is a playlist I will provide the link below definitely check everyone out it's so inspiring and it just everyone put in 110 percent into their craft so like it's it's been really really gratifying really fun experience to be involved in patty thank you so much for asking me to co-host with you it's just been a blast so definitely don't forget to check on the links below watch patty's reveal when she comes out with it and i'll see you in the next video bye